First, I will be explaining how to add complex numbers. A complex number is a number that can be expressed in the form of a plus b. So we will start off with this example. The first step is to separate them from real and imaginary. A real number is a number which does not involve imaginary numbers. So, for example, the 3 and the 1. An imaginary number is a, num is a multiple of i equals square root of negative 1. So, this one contains an imaginary number. So, these are the real numbers, and this is the imaginary. So, we are going to... Adam. And since this one does not contain this one does not contain an i, you cannot combine them. And in order to find out whether they're going to be added or subtracted, you're going to look back to the equation and it has an addition sign. Therefore, it's going to be added. And that's your answer. I will now explain how to solve an expression of complex numbers being multiplied. So for example, 10 plus 2i multiplied by 5 plus 12i. Since you have two different kinds of numbers in a parentheses, you're going to use what's called the FOIL method. The FOIL method is a method where you basically just multiply um, one number by their adjacent numbers. So 10 times 5 would be 50. Then 10 times 12i would be 120i. And now since you, ha you have this, you have to multiply 2i by the other 2, creating 2i times 5 would be 10i plus 2i being multiplied by 12i is 24i squared. So now what you do here is you combine like terms, creating 120i plus 10i being 130i. And then you bring these down, 50 plus 24i. But we're not done yet because the i squared becomes a negative, therefore being negative 24 and that negative 24 would be combined with the 50. So your final results would be 26 plus 130i. Now I'm going to show to you how to solve a complex expression by dividing it. So for example, here that you have um, the complex numbers being divided, what you have to do is get the denominator, as you can see here and you get the opposite of it, which is called... I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but it's something. So then here, all you do is FOIL method this one with this one, and this one with this one, of course. So as you can see here, 6 times 10 would be 60. 6 times 25i would be 150i. 12i times 10 would be 120i. And then 12i plus 25i would be 300i squared. So that's just the numerator. Now we'll have to do the denominator. So the denominator in FOIL method, 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 25i is 250i plus negative 25i times 10 would be negative 250i and then negative 25i times positive 25i would be negative 20 no negative 300i squared so now after you get both of these you'll want to do what's called combine like terms.
So, um, this equation, the numerator, would become 60 plus this combined is 270i plus 300i squared. Now over here, it'd be 100 since 250i minus 250i would cancel out. You'll just go um, ahead and put three, negative 300i squared. So now we're not done yet because the i squared, you multiply it by negative 1. So in that <coughs> equal, um, negative 300 plus 60 would then equal to negative 240 plus 270i. You just bring in the i down. Now, um, this would equal 400, and that's the answer.